When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat, instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. It is through this lens of history that we should view the conflicts of today and so give us hope for tomorrow. Although we are capable of great acts of kindness, history teaches us that we sometimes need saving from ourselves from our recklessness or our greed. It's worth remembering that it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. We know the reward is peace on earth, goodwill toward men, but we cannot win it without determination and concerted effort. Everyone is our neighbor, no matter what race, creed, or color. It has been women who have breathed gentleness and care into the harsh progress of mankind. It has always been easy to hate and destroy, to build and cherish is much more difficult. When peace comes, remember it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. We may hold different points of view, but, it is in times of stress and difficulty that, we most need to remember that, we have much more in common than, there is dividing us. None of us can slow the passage of time, and while we often focus on all that, has changed in the intervening years, much remains unchanged, including the gospel of Christ and his teachings. I believe that young or old, we have as much to look forward to with confidence, and hope as we have to look back on with pride. As I look to the future, I have no doubt at all that, the one certainty is change, but I do not think, that we should be over anxious, we can make sense of the future, if we understand the lessons of the past. Over the years, those who have seemed to me to be the happiest, contented, and fulfilled have always been the people who have lived the most outgoing and unselfish lives. Each day is a new beginning, I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give my best in all that the day brings, and to put my trust in God. I know just how much I rely on my own faith to guide me through the good times and the bad. If I am asked what I think about family life after 25 years of marriage, I can answer with equal simplicity and conviction, I am for it. Like all the best families, we have our share of eccentricities, of impetuous and wayward youngsters, and of family disagreements. Grief is the price we pay for love. The birth of a baby brings great happiness, but then the business of growing up begins. I have to be seen, to be believed. It's all to do with the training, you can do a lot, if you're properly trained. And remembering, the appalling suffering of war on both sides, we recognize how precious the peace, we have built in Europe since 1945. The British constitution has always been puzzling, and always will be. I cannot lead you into battle, I do not give you laws or administer justice, but I can do something else, I can give you my heart and my devotion, to these old islands, and to all the peoples, of our brotherhood of nations. Often a child's helplessness, and vulnerability, bring out the best in us. Sport has a wonderful way, of bringing together people and nations. It is through this lens of history that, we should view the conflicts of today, and so give us hope for tomorrow. Although we are capable of great acts of kindness, history teaches us that, we sometimes need saving, from ourselves from our recklessness, or our greed. In times of doubt and anxiety, the attitudes people show in their daily lives, in their homes, and in their work, are of supreme importance.